What's up everybody, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and I've got a quick overview in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on where to find the balls for the mysterious 8th quest. Now once you've got the quest, you come to this location here, this is in the shelter, the Gerudo shelter underground, so you enter through the sort of broken staircase just in front of the throne room about this location here. Once you're down in the shelter, you will find these 7 statues and there are 7 symbols which correspond to the 7 different balls you can find. Once you've found a ball, bring it all the way back here, put it on the statue and you're good to go. Right, the first one here, this is in Gerudo Town. You have to do a little mission for the quest here. Um, speak to the girl that's next to the ball. You will have to complete a little game with her. Throughout this, there's going to be a few of these. So check the pinned comment. We'll have guides for each of the individual quests, just in case you're struggling, but most of them are really easy. So pick up this first one. I suggest using Link's ability because it's faster. And then bring it all the way back to the throne room and you're good to go. Or the statue room, sorry. The next one is also in Gerudo. It's right next to where you just got the last one, actually. It's just to the side of it. So you can see here on the map. Head up here, there's the stairs, it's right next to the first one you picked up. And again, bring this one back down. If you're starting to get concerned at carrying stuff, yes, you're right, it's going to get bad. Next up, we have another one. This is in the shelter, the underground shelter in Gerudo. And there's a couple down here. So for the first one, you want to come down to this location here, past the guy that's locked up in the jail. Around the corner, you will have some, some stuff on the floor, some cushions and whatnot, and you can find the orb just there. Bring that back up to the statue room. On to the next one. Also in the Gerudo shelter. Not down there. Um, this is one you get for... Is this a side quest one? No, no. Never mind. Carry on. So you walk into this back room here. This is where you get the little picture puzzle for the uh, secret shop entrance. Climb up these boxes to the left here with the ladder. And you will see just opposite you in a small alcove up on the wall. You will see another one just there. Now moving on to the next ball. This is the last one inside the Gerudo shelter location. This is a side quest where you have to find four of these monuments, take pictures of them, and then the woman will give you the balls and the side quest. So if you've got to this point, you've already completed that because she's the one that gives you the side quest. If you need help again with that, check the pinned comment. We'll show you where to find all of the items. She wants you to find all the monuments. Okay, so next up, we have another metal shiny ball that you need to find. This one is way back in the first village that you enter when you get to the Gerudo region. You can see it here on the map. So there's the Gerudo town. This is the one you sort of get to before that. Um, again, if you've got the sandstorm, just keep going. Karakara Bazaar, get rid of the sandstorm first. It's much easier. You've got a quest here where you have to find a lost backpacker in order to get the ball as a reward. Again, check the pinned comment for that if you're not if you're struggling to find him. Otherwise, it's quite an easy one. Then all you've got to do is build some kind of vehicle. So I suggest something along the lines of this. Or you can walk it over yourself and then drive it over there again. It's a bit of a trek, but it's not too bad. Make sure you, when you get every ball, take them straight back. Because if you just leave them in the middle of nowhere, sometimes they don't respawn. They stay there. So just when you get a ball, take it all the way back. So this next one, you need to get a stick with a Korok frond on it. You can get a stick from any tree in the Hyrule area. So near the lookout landing's fine. And then if you want to get the Korok frond, you can get it from any palm tree here. So just go and smash one of those trees. You'll get the Korok frond. Mix it with the stick to create this little wavy thing. And that will get rid of the sand. And this will reveal the last ball. Once you've got that one, bring that one back to the statue room again and put that on there. You can then simply follow the quest objective. It tells you to go out to the Gerudo Sanctuary, put the ball in the big hole and follow it through. There'll be another hole that you have to clear away for and then you can drop down. Now there are some enemies down here. There are some plants and stuff you can harvest. So I've, I've gathered most of that. And I'm just sort of putting it on max speed because it's not, it's not a complicated bit really. It's just jumping around gathering stuff. So do grab the ore because it's worth it and you know you never know what you might find. So there is a few bad guys down here. None of it's tough fights. If you've got this far, you're more than capable of handling anything the game throws at you down here. And um, then when you get to the end, I'm not going to show you any of the stuff that happens because you know if you've gone through all of this quest, see it for yourself. I don't want to spoil anything. But literally all you've got to do is get through to the end of the cave and jobs are good. And so it goes nice and quick, nice and easy. Get what you need and get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe, I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.